Here we go now. Welcome to the Solo Promoter Podcast. This is episode 83, and it is absolutely fantastic to be back talking to you, my fellow tabletop wrestling RPG fans. Uh, This show is about one guy talking about tabletop pro wrestling and fighting games, including Filsinger Games, Legends of Wrestling, Champions of the Galaxy, Go Fight Pal, The Squared Circle, and more. This is the podcast that was formerly the Filsinger Games fan podcast, uh, but this show is not affiliated with any gaming company, and I want to welcome you back to the show. My name is Grant Pachoco. Yes, the podcast is back. We have a new name, the Solo Promoter Podcast, uh, and we are just in the set, the early, early stages of getting things going. Now, um, this podcast uh, in the past has been very, very focused on Filsinger Games, and I will tell you that this podcast going forward will be very, very focused on Filsinger Games, but calling it the Solo Promoter Podcast also allows us to talk about other games, uh, like you heard in the intro, Go Fight Pal, The Squared Circle, whatever else happens to cross across my tabletop, uh, we can talk about it, and uh, it will have a home here. But again, you're going to get a lot of Phil Singer talk <laughs> on this. Um, so, But welcome back. Uh, if you have uh, never unsubscribed and the episodes just stopped a, a while ago, and uh, now that suddenly this episode arrives, uh, that's great. I did put an episode uh, last week into the feed. Um, that was my yearly interview with Tom Filsinger, um, where we talked about Origins 2139, so hopefully you heard that. This is the first official podcast podcast uh, of, of, the, of the new era of, of the solo promoter podcast. Uh, the Solo Promoter Podcast. Uh, this is brought to you by solopromoter.com, uh, which just if you type in solopromoter.com, it's going to take you to my YouTube channel. Um, and uh, if you'd like to support the show and become a Golden Circle channel member, uh, visit solopromoter.com. Uh, it'll take you to the YouTube channel, and there's a join button uh, there on the front page. I think you have to do it on desktop. I don't think it works on any devices. I think you have to uh, actually be at a laptop or a desktop in order to get that join button to appear. Uh, But welcome back. It is a pleasure to have you here. Now, one other note I will say is uh, when we were doing, when I was doing the Filsinger Games fan podcast, uh, there were a lot of um, sort of segments. There was the match of the show and there was songs and there was all this kind of stuff, question of the week. Um, And some of those things may return. Some of those things may never return. Um, We will see as we go forward. The other thing is the emphasis on this show is going to be the audio podcast. Uh, Before it was sort of video first and then we made the uh, audio version. Uh, We're kind of reversing that. This is going to be audio first and uh, there is a video uh, and the Golden Circle channel members at solopromoter.com do get access to the video. They get to see a little behind the scenes before I start recording and and all of that kind of good stuff. And they also get the completely unedited, uh, all the mistakes left in their um, uh, episode of the show. All right. That's enough of kind of the record keeping. Let's get going. Uh, I am recording this on Friday, January 26th, 2024. It is 4.03 p.m. I think I started this right at uh, 4, 4 o'clock. And uh, tomorrow is the Phil Singer Games perennial virtual get-together. It's happening tomorrow. And uh, last night, everyone who, who signed up in time um, got uh, their tournament brackets. And so I thought uh, I would... I would talk up a little bit about who I drew in the tournaments. Uh, in the 2139 tournament, I drew Scorn. And I think this is a pretty good draw. And usually uh, I get a name where I'm like, oh, all right, well, this will be interesting. I Very rarely do I get a name where I'm like, yes, all right. Uh, and this is the first time when I saw that it was Scorn, I was very excited. And and the reason is, uh, in my personal fed in 2139, uh, Scorn is the women's champion, and uh, she's basically beating everybody. Now, uh, there's a lot of wild cards in this tournament. Um, there are some, I guess, FTR people. Um, there may be maybe some... Not Kronos, but one of the other. Oh, maybe Kronos. I don't know. But there, there, there's some other wild cards in there as well. But I'm, I'm eager to see how Scorn does in the thing. I should have looked before I started this uh, to see who I'm going up against in, in the beginning. But I don't like to think about that until the time. So uh, 
out of out of my three picks, uh, Scorn is 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 the one that I'm I'm hoping uh, will get me at least to the finals. Um, in the Legends Women's Tournament, I uh, I pulled Debbie Malenko, who has done okay in my Hollywood Elite Wrestling Fed, which you can follow along on solopromoter.com. Uh, she's, you know, she's okay. Um, it, it, she kind of, you know, I don't know, middle of the pack in just in terms of, of the times that I've used her. Not someone who I've used a lot. Um, so uh, it'll be interesting to see. I'm not uh, playing in the early classics uh, tournament. That's the one I, you know, because they, they have you rank your things. So I, I put uh, GWF or, you know, first and then Legends and then uh, early classics was at the bottom. So I'm not in that one unless somebody drops out or something. Uh, and then in the Southern Legends tournament, I drew Billy Wicks, who, uh, you know, like is, is a solid pick. I don't think compared to all the other people that are in, involved, uh, I don't have super high hopes for, but who knows? Maybe, um, Maybe it'll happen. Maybe it'll happen. We will see. So I'm super excited for the perennial tomorrow. I'm super excited. Uh, you know, I love, the, I love, I'm very excited for the exclusive cards. Uh, very excited to see who those are and get those. Um, and uh, yeah, I think the, I think the perennial is a lot of fun and um uh, I'm looking forward to hanging out and seeing everybody and uh, looking forward to sort of the announcements. Um, and we'll get a little bit to uh, speculation into the future here in a second. But I asked a question of the Solo Promoter uh YouTube channel member fans, and I also asked over in the Discord, I asked a question just to get people's answers as we head into the perennial, um, and, you know, we start getting these Legends announcements and stuff. So my question was, what is your realistic prediction of a big name we will get in Legends of Wrestling in 2024? And I did put the caveat on there is, no fair picking someone you know is signed but hasn't been announced, because there's, you know, between going to the... Uh, uh, the the Hall of Fame and 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 just chatting with people. People may know that people are signed. Uh, so I kind of said like it's no fair picking somebody who you know is signed. Um, and so we got some great responses, and we will go through them here. Uh, referee James Lawrence the uh, third says I view this more as a wish list, so I'm going to say the Von Erichs. Now we certainly have. Uh, the the modern day Von Erichs in the game, so that is not a total uh, out of the realm of possibility uh, sort of question, unless you consider that this movie just came out, and so the uh, the Von Erich family would want a lot of money because to capitalize on the on on the thing. But who knows? That it's it's a great it's a great guess, especially with the the younger Von Erichs being in there. Jeff Stafford uh, went with Iceman Parsons. I'm not hugely familiar with Iceman Parsons. I know a little bit, um, but that is a solid guest. Uh, Neil uh, says, uh, Neil Lau says, uh, Jose Estrada, uh, which would be a lot of fun. Uh, Gerandis said Medusa, which would be a big, I mean, when you think of all the 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 women legends that we have signed uh, to get Medusa in there, you know, I, I think then, you know, it's just like, what well, Wendy Richter would be another legends name who we don't have. You know who I would love to see? I would actually love to see, and I don't even know if they would ever do this, but I would love to see some of the the glow wrestlers in there. I know, I know, I know. But and I'm not saying you have to do a glow set, but if you got one of the glow wrestlers or uh, you know, um that would be fun. That would be fun to add into a women's set, I think, anyway. Uh, Matt Johnson says, going to go big and say Vern and Greg Gagne. I know that would uh, make a lot of people happy uh, if that would happen. Uh, Paul says, uh, and this was a name that that uh, that I thought of, too, when I was thinking of this question, Bam Bam Bigelow. That would be awesome uh, to get Bam Bam Bigelow and... Uh, just, yeah, just really, really great. Uh, Brandon Williams says Iron Mike Sharp. And I think if you think of Iron Mike Sharp in his WWF days, uh, you wouldn't think that's necessarily a big name. Uh, but I actually would because he is definitely one of the people I remember from watching WWF as a kid. But also going back and recently watching uh, Big... Uh, big South, Mid-South, uh, and Iron Mike Sharp sort of run through Big South. Big South. Why do I keep saying Big South? That's a Go Fight Pal character. Uh, through Mid South, um, you know, definitely an Iron Mike Sharp card would be really great. Salvador America says Apache Bull Ramos, someone I've heard of, but I'm not 100% familiar with. Um, 
Augment Prime says the Ugandan giant Kamala. He's another one who would be on my short list of, of possible guesses. Would love to get Kamala in there. Maybe a Friday card as well. Um, and just, I, I think that would be uh, absolutely fantastic. And Bookie749 on the community tab over at solopromoter.com said, I'll shout out a couple random names. Skandor Akbar. I would love a Skandor Akbar card. I would love a Skandor Akbar card. Please make that happen. And Andy Kaufman. I think Andy Kaufman might be a little bit more difficult, but not out of the total realm of possibility. It could happen. Um, and then on the Discord channel, um, I also asked, there's a solo promoter channel over on the Discord. If you want to join us at the Discord, the Discord is open to everybody. Uh, it's the Phil Singer Games fans disc, fan Discord. Go to bit.ly, that's B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash FGF Discord. So head on over there and uh, join us over on the Discord. But I asked the same question on Discord and got some different answers over there as well. Uh, everyone had some great, 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 great uh, uh, guesses here. Uh, James Irish said uh, Jimmy Garvin, uh, would, which would be a great uh, signing. Uh, Lanky Lefty probably has uh, one of my absolute favorite guesses. And this is something I, I would say that I was thinking of too, and that is demolition. And I've just gotten to the part in Mid-South where, um, uh, uh, oh my gosh, Barry Dars... Darsaw, Darsaw, am I saying his name right? But uh, the other demolition member, we have Mass Superstar, uh, Bill Eady, but uh, Barry Darsaw, Darsaw, uh, anyway. Um, man, if we got him signed, there are so many cards you could do for him. And, uh, so that would be absolutely awesome. And, uh, I don't know. I mean, every, whenever people bring up demolition, there's always the question of the rights and who has the rights and all this kind of stuff. Um, and if we could get demolition, that would be sweet. Uh, Carl Zilla, creator of the FG assistant app, head on over to patreon.com forward slash FG assistant for more information. Uh, guest Dick, the bruiser, another great great name to have that uh, Dick the Bruiser, the Crusher tag team reunited. That would be awesome. Uh, Jay Sanudo said Sid Vicious, uh, aka Sid Justice, the Junkyard Dog, another huge name I would absolutely love. And Arn Anderson. There's a lot of Arn Anderson speculation because Arn Anderson was announced for the TNT Hall of Fame. Uh, it certainly would be great to get Arn Anderson in the game along with Tully Blanchard. And then to have Arn Anderson, Tully Blanchard, uh, and Barry Wyndham and, you know, uh, not all the four hosts, four horsemen, uh, but if you count J.J. Dillon as one of the four, then I guess you could. But Arn Anderson, a lot of people speculating that Arn Anderson might come in this year. Uh, L.A. Wraith says, is Haku a big name? I'd add him to the guesses. I would love a Haku card as well. Haku, another fantastic name. And uh, Jay Sanudo came back and said, I'll add one more tag team to the list, Rick and Scott Steiner. Um, another solid team. I, I will say, I, of course, know who Rick and Scott Steiner are. I am not as familiar with their work as I am with, say, Demolition. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I mean, that would be a huge signing for the game. Uh, you know, Rick and Scott Steiner versus the British Bulldogs. Rick and Scott Steiner versus the Fabulous Kangaroos. Rick and Scott Steiner uh, versus the Midnight Express. You know, take your pick. It would be awesome. Uh, Joe Peace wraps up uh, our, our fan-submitted guesses with a big name, uh, John Tenta. Uh, and, and Joe says John Tenta would be a great big name, figuratively and literally. I would love a John Tenta card. Uh, that would be... Uh, 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 it would be amazing. It would be it would be just a lot of fun. So um, I'm gonna have to put out my guess. And I thought I really did have some some guesses as other people like Bam Bam Bigelow and Kamala and um, uh, Haku. You know some of the other names that I was considering. Um, but I'm gonna go with the the name that I always say when this question gets posed. And it's and, and I'm not piggybacking on anybody else's thing. I, I'm putting out a different name. And that would be Dr. D. David Schultz. And the only reason this is in my head is because I remember somebody somewhere, I think it was on the message boards, said that Dr. D. David Schultz is in is on the Phil Singer Games page and like was liking some of the things. And so I was like, oh, maybe, you know, maybe he will be in there. So um 
I don't know. Those are my guesses. I would love to know your guesses. Uh, feel free to leave them in the comments. And uh, here we go with 2024. So the Phil Singer Games Perennial is happening tomorrow, Saturday. So it's I think it's a good time to speculate ahead to what might be coming down the pike from Phil Singer Games. Now, I will say that these are only speculations. These are only uh, just my wild ramblings. They don't mean any GD thing in the entire world. Uh, so, uh, uh, And also, I will say I have no insider information. Um, you can ask, actually ask uh, uh, like Todd and uh, Chad and other people like that. I actually don't like spoilers. I, I like to, um, I mean, I, I, I like announcements when announcements are made, but I don't want to know kind of secrets like, oh, guess who's coming up? Or, oh, do you want to know who's going to be this set or what the theme of this upcoming set is before anyone else? I, I like to, I like to be the fan, uh, who gets excited when the announcements are made. So I know nothing. Um, but let's talk uh, just about a few things. I, I just, I don't know. I, these aren't, these aren't like, I'm not like planning out my ideal year of what 2024 is going to be like from Phil Singer Games. Um, but these are just some ideas I have. Um, Tom has announced that he's doing the secret history of the GWF and that will get a March release or a cycle one release. Um, I, I love that Tom is working on this and I'm eager to see what this is about. We'll find out tomorrow, I guess. Uh, I hope, I hope, 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 uh, Banks and Rickard are, are involved in the artwork. I also hope, and I know, I know people are going to grouch at me about this. I hope there are, uh, drawn backgrounds to this. Um, and, uh, I, I will say, well, I'll, I'll, I'll save this for the next one. I'll, I'll add it there because it'll, it'll it'll find out. But we will find out about the secret history of the GWF uh, more tomorrow. I will say that I am somebody who likes to plow ahead. Uh, I'm not somebody who's eager to go back and replay things that I've already played. So the secret history from the GWF, I think it might be a fun set to collect. Uh, again, I know nothing about this. But just figure finding out what it is, uh, I'll be excited about it. But... I don't know. I'm not. I'm not someone who's who's going to go back and and replay years and drag out old cards uh, to do this. But um, you know, it'll as I because I've said before, I'm not. Um, a huge fan of alternate history type things, uh, but I'm, I'm excited to see what this is and excited to see, um, you know, uh, what comes of it. I, I am wondering is uh, back when the COTG mobile uh, game was being talked about and there were new characters that were created for that. Uh, I wonder if some of those cards will be coming into there. I know uh, Nakano Takeko uh, was sort of uh, somebody who was involved in there. So I wonder if this is kind of another outlet for some of those created characters. I guess, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I do hope that this year there is another early classic set, uh, the next uh, edition. Um, I know it won't be as many cards, uh, but I, I really hope that that is released because uh, that was a solid set. And I will say, and I've said it before on the channel, and I will say it again, and this is what I was going to to say earlier uh the backgrounds on those cards are much better when you have the cards in your hands than they appeared when they were online and i don't know why that is uh maybe it's because you're looking at a digital uh digital image on a digital screen um but uh I have uh, I, when i got the cards they the, the the backgrounds do not look as um bad as I thought they were going to look when I saw the images on the screen. That said, I hope that we get some drawn backgrounds. That's all I help. Uh, but yes, I hope, I certainly hope, I would, I think having a, um, the secret history of the GWF uh, in March, then uh, 2130 in uh, July, or I guess late June, um, and then an early classics at Christmas, that would be three solid, uh, uh, you know, Champions of the Galaxy releases. I also hope, 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 and I, I've said this before in my prediction, or not my prediction video, my end of the year review video, I hope that we get more main timeline uh, Champions of the Galaxy releases. Uh, and it would be great to get some wrestlers in there because we've had arenas and we've had valets and we've had managers and we've had Aetherin soldiers. Uh, but it'd be awesome to get one or two wrestlers just to, or a couple wrestlers in there, um, along with those type of cards. I, I still do think that the arena cards and the valet cards and all that kind of stuff are fun. Um, but if we got one or two wrestlers in there, that would be great too. Or maybe even like an update or a downgrade for somebody, uh, that would be awesome as well. 
well. Um, and finally, I would, I would love to say that I hope that COTG Online gets its much, 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 much overdue update. Um, I was going back through old podcast notes and remember, uh, like, it was like, oh, we're getting updates in September. And then finding another episode where I go, well, I guess we're not getting those updates. I hope that we get updates, but I'm, I'm starting to feel that we may not ever get updates. I think we may get uh, maintenance uh, where things are maintained. Uh, but it just seems that after so many years, if there were going to be updates, there would be updates. And um, it's a bummer, uh, but I would love to see COTG Online get an update this year. But I would just love the the actual charts uh, to, <laughs> to be worked in there somehow. Um, but um, I don't know. So anyway, those are my thoughts on what's coming up this year. I would love to hear your thoughts on what's coming up this year. What What are your predictions? What are your speculations about upcoming things? And uh, please, if you want to call BS on anything that I've said here, uh, please, please do so in the comments. Uh, touching briefly on Go Fight Pow, you know that at the Solar Promoter YouTube channel, uh, we do a lot of Go Fight Pow action. Eric at Go Fight Pow showed off the artwork for one of the five Fighters coming up in the upcoming Free Agents Ready to Rumble set. This is the, the set of uh, sort of fan-created cards um, that uh, were for people who pledged at a certain level during the uh, Rumble Pack Kickstarter. And... Uh, uh, so anyway, the the I, I created a character, so I'm very I've seen a little sneak preview of the artwork, and my character is uh, a comedic in joke character. Um, but there's some fun characters coming, and Eric showed off uh, Jack the Hammer Hammonds, and describes Jack as this wily fighter looks to bring controversy with him to any sector he's in. Uh, so if you would like to see that, go to the uh, Go Fight Pal. Uh, Facebook page, and you will be able to see the artwork. Um, well, you know what? We have rambled for quite a bit here. I think it's time uh, that we start wrapping uh, this first podcast back up so I can get in there and start editing it and get it out before the perennial happens tomorrow. Um, there's a video version of the recording of this podcast that's available to the Golden Circle channel members at solopromoter.com. To support the show and become a Golden Circle member, visit solopromoter.com and click on the join button uh, for this episode. If you have a topic you'd like the show to cover, please leave it in the comments. And please check out my personal feds at gwfpromoter.com and lowpromoter.com. The theme song for this podcast is American Guy by Throwing Toasters, used by permission and available on Apple Music, Spotify, and anywhere you get your music. This podcast is not affiliated with any game company, and it is purely for entertainment purposes. This episode is copyright 2024 Saturday Morning Media, Grant Pachoco, executive producer, www.saturdaymorningmedia.com.